Hello, Vista College Preparatory Scholars. This is Miss Coyle. I am so excited to welcome you to our first official Read Aloud Day. Your, your teachers and principals and friends miss you so very much, and we cannot wait to have you back in our classrooms. But until then, we are so excited to welcome you to our Vista virtual website and be able to interact with you and learn with you online. So today, I am really excited because we're gonna jump into a new kind of story today. We are going to be reading a book that is going to teach us how to make vegetable soup. This book is called a procedural book because it tells us the steps we need to take in order to get something done. When reading procedural books like the one we're reading today, it is so important that we are paying attention and using our focused brain to pay attention to the steps it tells us to take. So since this is a new type of book, we have a new definition that we get to learn. Say, bring it on. Ooh, one more time, I think we could be louder. Say, bring it on. That was so much better. So I'm gonna show the definition first and then I want you to do it with me. Say, we're ready. A procedure, your turn. A procedure, a procedure, a procedure, good. A procedure is the steps, again, go, is the steps, again, go, is the steps, good. We're going to add to it. A procedure is the steps you need to follow to get something done. One more time. A procedure is the steps you need to follow to get something done. Again, one more time. Say, so we got this. Texas chair, get ready, go. <claps> Yeehaw! All right, let's go. A procedure is the steps you need to follow to get something done. One more time, say one more time. Perfect. A procedure is the steps you need to follow to get something done. So good. Good job. Give yourself a pat the back. So scholars, before we jump into our story today, I want to remind you that it is so important that we're paying attention to the sequence or the order that the book gives us the steps so that we can make sure we know the order of the things we need to do in order to get something done. So one more time, we're gonna stay really focused today while we're reading. We're gonna focus on the steps. Say with me, we're gonna focus on that. Yes, the steps that they tell us to follow so that we can get it done. If we don't follow the steps in order, we might make a mistake or we might not be able to get done what we're trying to do. So we're gonna pay really close attention while we're reading our book today. So our title of our book today is Growing Vegetable Soup. Have you ever had vegetable soup? Oh, maybe yes, maybe no. Hmm, I wonder how you grow vegetable soup. Hmm, so as I read today, what am I focusing on again? Oh, a procedure is the steps you need to follow to get something Done, right, we're paying attention to the steps or the sequence of the steps, the order, so we can know how to grow vegetable soup at the end of this book. Let's jump right in, say we're ready. Awesome, let's get started. Growing vegetable soup. As I'm reading, I want you to think about what different ingredients, what different vegetables are they growing to put into this soup? Growing vegetable soup. Dad says we are going to grow vegetable soup. We're ready to work and our tools are ready too. Ooh, what different tools do you see that they're going to use to grow these vegetables? Oh, I see a shovel too and a rake as well. Wow. We are planting the seeds. Oh, they're planting the seeds first. Oh, because you can't water it if it's not a seed in the ground already, right? So they're planting the seeds. Hmm. I see green beans, I see peas, I see corn, zucchini squash, carrot seeds. Oh, I wonder what other ingredients are going to be part of this vegetable soup. And all the sprouts. Ooh, like tomato sprouts and broccoli sprouts. Did you see those vegetables too? Awesome. And giving them water. 
Oh, what do they need to survive? What are they giving them on this page? Oh, you're right. They're giving them some water to help them grow. And waiting for warm sun to make them grow. Oh, so we need the help of that. Yeah, the help of the sun. Good. And grow. Oh, look how big that pepper plant is already getting. Oh, and the little, the little carrots over here. And grow into plants. We watch over them and weed until the vegetables are ready for us to pick or dig up. Hmm. Oh, I'm using my picture evidence and I see that they are digging up the potatoes and they're digging up the carrots because we can't pick those off a plant. We have to dig them up to get them out of the ground and carry home. Then we wash them and cut them and put them in a pot of water. Oh, look at all these vegetables. What vegetables can you see? Yeah, I see a big broccoli. I see some tomato. Did you see the little pea that was over here? Nice catch. And cook them into vegetable soup. Oh, they're cooking. At last, it's time to eat it all up. It was the best soup ever. Looks delicious. And we can grow it again next year. So scholars, we just finished reading our book on growing vegetable soup. I have behind me a chart paper that says list of ingredients. What were some ingredients that were in this soup? Yeah, broccoli, carrots, potatoes, peas, tomatoes. Can you think of any others? Corn, good job. Zucchini. I'm gonna go ahead and put the list of ingredients on the chart paper and when we come back, I wanna know what was the procedure to make vegetable soup? All right, scholars, I have made my list of all the vegetables that we grew and needed for our vegetable soup today, and we're gonna go over them together. Let's say them together. First up, I have green beans. I have green beans, perfect. Next, corn, your turn. Yes, corn. Peas, your turn. Peas. Zucchini, ooh, tricky, tricky word. Zucchini, your turn. Perfect, zucchini. Carrots, your turn, carrots, perfect. Tomatoes, broccoli, onions, peppers, and then last but not least, cabbage. Give me a thumbs up if you also got all those vegetables too. Perfect, now let's go into the steps. All right, scholars, we are ready to list our steps. Remember, a procedure is the steps you need to follow to get something done. So remember when we're giving someone the steps, we wanna make sure that they're very clear directions. So we're gonna make sure that we include our sequence words. Remember that sequence words tell us when to do something first, when to do something next, when to do something last at the end. But we wanna make sure that we are giving them to our listener in order. So we have our words on the board. First, second, third, next, then, after that, then, and finally. Put your fingers up to your brain. I want to know, what was the very first step we needed to take to grow vegetable soup? Hmm. I know that good readers can always use the book to help them in case they forgot. We always want to double check our work. Hmm. I remember we had to water something. What was it that we did first to make sure we could water it so we could grow? All right. We had to plant the seeds. Did you think of planting the seeds? Nice work. Remember, I'm gonna use those sequence words. So first, we plant the seeds and sprouts. Hmm, okay, well first we planted the seeds and the sprouts. What did we do second? What did they do second? Yes, they have to water them. Good, I'm gonna put that on the board. We have to water the seeds and sprouts. All right, scholars, so now we're at our third step. 
And this third step, it requires a little bit of patience. We have to wait for the plants. Yeah, we have to wait for the plants to grow. And I remember in the book, the sun was also helping them grow and grow hmm, until they turn into something. What did they turn into? Yeah, they turned into a plant. So third, we have to wait for them to grow into plants. So once we waited for them to grow into plants, now we are going to continue to water them. So we're at our next step. And next step is we need to continue to water them. So they've already become plants. We need to continue to water them, watch over them, and weed them in case things start to grow in there that we don't want. We'll pull those out. So our next step is to water and weed them. So once we've watered and continue to water and weed out the plants that we don't want next to them, hmm, what can we do? What can we do? Oh, right. Once they've been watered and they've grown to their best potential and we've weeded out the other plants that we don't want, now is our time to, yeah, we can start picking them off the plants, like tomatoes we can pick off and start putting them into our baskets to collect them. And we can also dig them up. Remember we said that potatoes and carrots, we don't pull those off. We actually have to dig them out of the ground and collect them. So next, we will pick them or dig them up. What do we do after we pick them or dig them up? Right, after that, we have to wash them. After they're all washed and clean, then we're in our next step. Then we need to put them in a pot of water. Oh, to help them cook. So we have to put them in a pot of water. Nice work, scholars. Say too easy. Yeah, way too easy. You guys are doing a great job. So once we have them in our pot of water, finally, we're at our last step. So I'm going to use the sequence word finally so people know this is the very end. Finally, we're going to cook them into vegetable soup. Very last step. So scholars, we just completed all of the steps we need to take in order to grow our own vegetable soup. So nice work today in figuring out what we need to do first, second, third, next, then, after that, then, and finally. We made sure that our steps were clear, they were in order, and we made sure to use sequence words like first, next, and then to make sure that people know how to take those steps the right way in order to get something done. Let's go ahead and review our definition of a procedure. A procedure is the steps you need to follow to get something done. Let's do it one more time. Say we could do it better. Nice, loud, and proud. A procedure is the steps you need to follow to get something done. Awesome job today, scholars. I'm so proud of all of you for helping me come up with the steps that we need to follow in order to grow our own vegetable soup. I have a couple questions for you. What are some sequence words we use today to help us with our steps? Hmm, I know first is a sequence word. What is another sequence word we use today? Yeah, next, then, second, Third, we used so many different sequence words today and made sure we were using them in order. I wonder if you could teach someone at home some sequence words you've, you've learned today. I also am wondering, I have a question for you to answer at home. Why is it so important that we follow the steps in a procedure in order? Hmm. I cannot wait to hear what you have learned from this video. Remember, you can share with your teachers and I can't wait for you to tune in for our next story. Bye guys.